Hi, Backroads Tourist fans, I'm Jeff, and I have an update on Ballas Pumpkin Patch in Gretna, Nebraska. Stick around, you won't want to miss it. Ballas Pumpkin Patch is one of the top pumpkin patches in the country, and a few weeks ago I posted a video telling you about 11 new things Ballas was adding for the 2023 season. Unfortunately, a lot of those things weren't quite finished yet, so let's just say that they were works in progress. In that video, I promised to keep you updated on how things were going. Well, I'm a man of my word, so let's get started. Stick around because I'm going to save the best for last. When I first took a ride on the Pumpkin Creek Railroad, I noticed that a lot of the previous displays had been removed. For instance, when you went through the tunnel, you no longer saw a man stretching to reach something off the top shelf or a horse in a barber chair getting a shave. Well, on my most recent ride on the train, I noticed that this area in the tunnel still was pretty nondescript. Maybe they're still going to add something in there. I really don't know. And after the tunnel, I noticed that there were speakers mounted in all of the train cars. Now, I hadn't noticed them before, and I was wondering what they were for. They hadn't made any announcements on them, so I was curious. Well, as we approached the newly revamped fish wall, the speakers came to life. And as we got near the Old West Town, through the speakers, you could hear the sounds you'd expect to hear from an Old West Town. Things like old music and saloon sounds and things like that. The town was still pretty sparsely decorated compared to what it was, but it looked nicer, less cluttered, and more organized than when I saw it a few weeks ago. I noticed that on the right side of the train, there was a little stream, and for some reason, I don't remember seeing that before, but it looks really nice. After the town, there's a few more things to see, including a buffalo and a young buffalo with a backpack. Now, any dad who sees this has the golden opportunity to use the classic dad joke, what did the buffalo say to his boy when he went off to school? Bye, son. Huh? If you're a father and you don't use that joke, you should just turn in your dad card right now. The train ride is more together than it was before. The fish wall is operational, the town is more complete, and more fun to look at items have been added by the tracks. My gut tells me that there's still some more things that are going to be added, but we'll have to wait and see. Up by the Howl at the Moon stage in the Haunted Farmhouse, I told you that they've put in a very cool lighted trail. It's beautiful to walk through at night, but since my last video, they've added an upgrade. They've put in fog machines that add to the experience. If you're there at night, check it out. This is new too. It's a talking and moving tractor over by the entrance to the hay rack rides. Yeah, kids are gonna love this. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Save that horse, ride a tractor, go and fire my engines up. Wake up early in the morning, you're the thing that does my cup, you're still the thing. Before I do the big reveal, I'd like to ask you to give this video a like by hitting that thumbs up button down there. And while you're there, I'd sure appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Backroads Tourist Channel. It's free and it's easy to do. We're closing in on 1,500 subscribers and I'd sure like you to be one of them. 
In my last Fallows video, I showed you the groundwork for a new ride being installed. It wasn't much more than a little building and a concrete pad. Well, what a difference a few weeks makes. Look at this. This is Cousin Lauren's Racing Pigs. Coincidentally, it's located not too far from the pig races at Vallas. Also in my last video, I told you that Vallas never does anything halfway. You're going to notice that the cars are a piggy pink and the rest of the ride is green and yellow, just like a certain kind of tractor. And when the sun goes down, the lights come on. And it doesn't take too much imagination to see that the lights look a lot like corn stalks with tassels up on the top. Here's a cool little thing too. When you're getting on the ride, you may recognize the voice giving you the recorded safety instructions. That's cousin Mark, who's been running the pig races at Vallas for, well, forever. So what about the other ride at Ballas that was under construction? Well, it's still under construction. It's over by the Egg Scramble building, and it looks like it might be some sort of a tilt-a-wheel type ride with an egg theme based on the look of the cars. I've heard that they expect the rest of the ride to arrive soon from the manufacturer. Will it be ready for visitors this season? I don't know. If it isn't, it's gonna be something to look forward to in 2024. Thanks again for watching. I'll keep you posted on any new developments at Vallas. I'm Jeff, and I'll see you on the back roads or at Vallas Pumpkin Patch.